Good day, my viewers and subscribers. New Real Entertainment back at it again. Some of the topics we're going to talk about today is double murder rocks St. James community and man killed in plaza shooting was targeted, police say. Businessman among two shot dead at illegal party in St. James and Trelawney man found dead suspect of drowning in community pond. We are also going to talk about a 70-year-old woman killed in fire. 70-year-old woman killed in fire. Glooms hangs over the Marley Acres community in Old Arbor, St. Catherine, following the fiery pre-dawn death of a 70-year-old resident. Dead is Madge Davis, otherwise called Maggie, of 139 Cedar Drive. The Old Arbor Fire Department reported that personnel received a call about 1.04 on Sunday morning. A team responded and found the 10-room concrete dwelling engulfed in flames. Firefighters from the Spanish Town Station assisted in extinguishing the blaze. Davis charred remains were found among the rubble. Residents were shocked to learn of her death. Right now, we have food and we can't even eat, Ashanti Scully said. The woman was very hard working, so we never expect that she would have did so. Other residents said that the deceased was an usher at her church, refuge temple, and that her sudden demise has shaken the congregation. Even the pastor is in a state of shock, said Mildred Manning, a resident. Davis was said to have lived alone. District officer for the Old Harbor Fire Station, Opton Johnson, said the estimate damage was 13 million. The house was not insured. The Old Harbor Police have launched an investigation. Desperate family searching for lawyer's body. Relatives and friends of attorney at law henry charles johnson who reportedly died on august 17 are trying desperately to locate his body so to his common law wife of 80 years robin patrick according to the family the last time they saw johnson was on august 6 when he was removed from his saint andrew home by one of his daughters with the alleged assistance of armed policemen. From the day he was forcibly taken from our home, I have not seen him again or been told where he was taken, stated Patrick. She said she was later informed that Johnson, who was the love of my life, had died and steps were being taken to cremate the body. Charles made it clear to me many times that he wanted to be buried not cremated a tearful patrick said last week the common law wife said that she has been trying everything to locate his remains but to no avail johnson suffered a stroke last year february and could not talk or walk but patrick said he could still communicate by gestures one of Johnson's close friends told the Gleaner that two days before Johnson was removed from his home, Patrick drove him to her house in Mandeville, Manchester, where they had a good time. According to the friend, Johnson looked very well, and it was difficult to process that he died so soon after the visit. She said she even had photographs to mark the wonderful time they spent together. Johnson's sister, Rosemary Wigan Jones, said she was very disappointed with the manner in which her brother was removed from his home. She expressed concern that she and Johnson's two brothers were not being informed about the funeral arrangements. She said that as far as she knew, Johnson had a plot to be buried on. Everything is just hush hush and we as Johnson's siblings need to know when and where the funeral service is to take place, Wigan Jones said. 
she disclosed that her brother had decided before he became ill that he wanted Patrick to take care of him so everyone should respect his wishes. She said she had a good relationship with Patrick. Patrick had filed an application in the Supreme Court on August 10 seeking an order to compel the police to return her command law husband who was taken away without a court order. Superintendent Aaron Fletcher of the Constant Spring Police Station and the Attorney General are the defendants. Attorney at law Hodge Wildman, who is representing Patrick, said that although an affidavit of urgency was filed, he was told that only available date was in September. The justice system of which Johnson was a part failed him, said Wildman. He stressed that the police act unlawfully and must be blamed for what happened to Johnson. Wildman pointed out by the law, Patrick is Johnson's pose. The role of the policeman in Johnson's removal from his home is being investigated by the Independent Commission of Investigation in the COM. Following Johnson's death, Patrick filed a suit against the defendants on August 20, seeking damages for assault and trespass as well as relief under the Constitution for breach of right of property and breach of right of privacy. Johnson, a former policeman, came to national attention in 1980 when he, along with two soldiers and a civilian, were accused of plotting to overthrow the government of former Prime Minister Michael Manley. They were freed in the Home Circuit Court in October 1981 after a key witness was found to be unreliable. Johnson subsequently studied law and was practicing for about 30 years. Trelawney man found dead of suspected drowning in community pan. The Trelawney police do not suspect foul play in the relation to the death of a man whose body was fished from a pan in his community last week. The deceased has been identified as 18-year-old labourer Ricardo Warren of Cockburn Pen, Clarkstown, Trelawney. Reports are that about 3.30 p.m. residents spotted a pair of water boots a pair of blue pants and a blue shirt at the edge of a pond in which Warren was believed to have been either fishing or swimming. The police were alerted and on their arrival at the pond, nobody was seen in the water. As a result, Jamaica Defense Force JDF personnel were summoned and they responded with a team of divers who searched the pond and recovered Warren's body. The body was removed to a funeral home where it is now awaiting a post-mortem examination. Businessman among two shot dead at illegal party in St. James. Ahead of ongoing no-movement period nationally, criminal elements continued with bloodshed in St. James, with two men being shot dead and a female injured when gunmen invaded an illegal party on Friday night. The police said one of the deceased remained unidentified. This while the other has been identified as 36-year-old businessman Kayan Thompson of Bogill in the parish. According to the Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, the communications arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, about 11.20 p.m., a party was in full swing in front of a bar in Bogil when gunman pounced on a group of the party goers and opened fire. After the shooting subsided, three persons were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to hospital where Thompson and the unidentified man were pronounced dead and the other individual was treated and released. No motive has yet been established for the deadly attack. Among the statistics from the JCF, there were 104 murders recorded in the parish for the period January 1st to August 21st, 2021. 
an increase of 40.5% when compared to the corresponding period last year. However, St. James is not the leading geographical police division in terms of homicides so far this year. Man killed in Plaza shooting was targeted, police say. St. Andrew, Jamaica, reliable police sources have informed Observer Online that a man who was shot fatally in Spring Plaza on Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew on Friday hails from a Hambrook Lane address in St. Andrew. The man killed is from Hambrook Lane. It was a targeted hit. They went for him and executed him. Two others were shot, a police insider said. The incident occurred just after 12 noon Friday. Three people were shot, with one person succumbing to injuries in what was initially believed to be an attempt robbery. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, please leave a comment in the comment section. For my new viewers, please hit that subscribe button hit that like button please go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section hit that like button for your latest news and reviews